you, QAnon killer. Marcus Conti reporting on the QAnon killer. He was in court yesterday in Staten Island, criminal court. Richmond County, there he was. So uh, the verdict is in. He says Trump made him do it. Hate words. They're setting up uh, an insanity plea. Hate words made him do it. I'm going to read the article from uh, who, who reported. I think it's the Daily Beast was there. The Daily Beast was on the scene for us, so I didn't have to be. Uh, so, so in the meantime, I was out on the street, out on the street in Eltingville. You remember yesterday? And I was, I was in his, uh, I was in the Cunard Killers hometown. Watch that video on the main channel. I'm still in exile another week. Yeah, so, so I was, uh, I was out on the street in in the in, in Cunard Killers territory. I was a little very nervous actually. I didn't want to get whacked myself. You know, I was fucking walking around and getting whacked. So anyway, watch that video, and I make the, uh, I make the, you know, give you a summary of who uh, Anthony Camillo is, the Gambino crime family. But here's where it takes a twist. Like I said, the guy is uh, who, what made him, you know, a young man, 24 years old. He he decides one day that he's gonna whack the the boss of the Gambino crime family. He could could have killed anybody, right? He was all knocking on. Bill de Blasio's door, the mayor of New York. He was, he had his, uh, he had Nancy Pelosi on the, uh, in the crosshairs. All right. So it, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a, he, now he's saying through his attorneys that Trump and hate words, hate words made him do it. Hate speech. That's his, that's the developing this, 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 um, I don't know. Let's read. So the Daily Beast did a great job. Uh, Mafia Pizzagate. <laughs> They're having some fun with it. So Robert Gottlieb says the case is going to boil down to hate speech, including right at the White House, hints of an insanity defense. I, I would agree with that assessment, Daily Beast. The 24-year-old, sometimes construction worker, accused of gunning down the boss of the Gambino crime family, had no message messages scribbled on his hands this time as he stood in Staten Island courtroom on Monday morning. Remember the last time he had the 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 QAnon, the uh, he had the QAnon uh, the Q on his. Let me just give you that. I'll give you that that image, right? So he had the Q. This is this is the the one of my uh, one of my Q my uh, thumbnails that didn't get published. But here's the uh, Q, right? You see very clearly on his hand, right? He scribbled Q, and um, you know. MAGA forever, united we stand, patriots in charge. Wow, right? So, real deal, man. The QAnon killer, right? So, Camillo had fled to New Jersey after Gambino boss uh, Frankie Cali was shot to death outside the Staten Island home on March 13th. He had been arrested in Bricktown. And during a court hearing there last week, he, ra- he, he raised his shackled hand and revealed a QAnon symbol, right, on his palm, right? <clears throat> what else? His palm on Mondays, on Monday, were, were as blank as his expression when he was brought into Part A1 to be arraigned on murder charges. Afterwards, a reporter asked defense attorney Got- uh, Robert Gottlieb if he had instructed his clients to wash his hands. His mother did, Gottlieb replied. Mm, it's k- kills the, it kills the family, really, you know, something like this. But Gottlieb made clear that in his view, the now s- scrubbed away message remains inscribed in his client's psyche and of central importance to this case. What was picked up by the media, that was real, Gottlieb said. That was what he wanted to express that day. Golub continued with uh, what he himself wanted to express on his client's behalf on Monday. At the end of the day, after everything is known about this case, it's going to show that the hate that spews on the internet by QAnon and other right-wing conspiracy websites 
hate words that have been spewed by citizens, including politicians, including right at the White House. He said, words matter. Hate words matter. What the hell is going on? How do you plead guilty to murdering? He's, he's pleading not guilty to murdering someone, but then he's saying that, that the, the words made him do it. It's ridiculous, really. He did it. He's claimed, I mean, this, this kind of defense is absurd, really. Back when Donald Trump and his father were dealing with associates of mafia boss Carlo Gambino in, in construction and real estate and city government, nobody could have imagined the son would one day become the president of the United States. This is an interesting tie-in because, again, Trump is a New Yorker and the Gambino crime family are heavily involved in the construction business and the iron workers unions and the uh, waste removal. So if you want a dumpster in, New in Manhattan, if you're a builder and you want a dumpster or you want iron or you want concrete, you got to talk to the mob in some form or another. Or you want electrical wires in your building, the electrical union. Right? So there is the tie-in. I said it yesterday and last week. Nor could they have imagined that one day Don Carlos' successor would be gunned down by an apparent adherent to paranoid conspiracy theories imagined by some of Donald's most fervent supporters. It's true. I mean, Jerome Corsi and, and, and Roger Stone plugged this QAnon bullshit from the, from the beginning. How many of these kooks, how many of the, no, I'm going to take that back. How many of these, these uh, commentators got sucked in by the Q phenomena? More than we can count. All right. And now they're going to, now they're taking a distance but what, ha what happened to, uh, you know, when, what happened when, when you were spilling it out? Now, all of a sudden, you, you, oh, Q is fake. It's definitely related to the White House, Gottlieb said on Monday. Crazy. He made his declaration a day after United States Attorney William Barr submitted to Congress a four-page letter summarizing the report filed by Robert Mueller. The special counsel's investigation did not find that Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with Russia in its efforts to influence the 2016 election. We already know that. According to the summary, Mueller was blah, 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 all of which makes you wonder why Trump ranted about a witch hunt and complained of being the victim of an illegal conspiracy involving the deep state and radical left wings. <laughs> radical Democrats. Uh, he even welcomed QAnon conspiracist Lionel Lebron to the White House, <laughs> as reported by the Daily Beast. In doing so, Trump lent unspoken precedence to conspiracies such as Pizzagate, which led a gunman to storm Washington, D.C. pizzeria in search of a supposed sex dungeon for children maintained by Hillary Clinton's cartel. Pizzagate, Pizzagate gave rise to QAnon, which conjures even more intricate conspiracies that rational folks immediately reject. Well, I don't know about that but too often hold sway with the troubled and vulnerable among us. Ew, the vulnerable. How come when I was saying this a year ago, now, now the Daily Beast is coming around to, to calling it out. Good job, guys. Good job. What about the QAnon people? What about it? Uh, you're, still on, you're still on the QAnon boat, right? Fucking, it turned, look, it's not, it's not, it's looking not like a mob hit, all right? It's a, he hit a mob guy, but he didn't, it wasn't a mob hit for a power grab. It was a fucking psycho, right? He fell into the electronic rabbit hole of Q. That's what's going on. So uh, as Gottlieb tells it, the crime with which his client is charged had less to do with the Don than with the Donald. Oh, damn, what a catch, catchy phrase. Less to do with the Don and, and more to do with the Donald. Gallup said that his client will plead unequivocally not guilty. What? The strength of the case against him, surveillance video of the shooting, a fingerprint at the scene, cell phone and license plate trails, a videotape statement to detectives, suggests Gottlieb is contemplating an insanity defense. Well, if the police really have all that stuff, we, we don't even know today. But if they do have a video of him doing it, fingerprints, they don't have the weapon. They still don't have the gun. Look in the, under the outer bridge. Because when he crossed over into New Jersey, that's where he flung the gun. Trust me, that's where it is. I'm using my psychic powers. I don't know the guy. 
I'm just telling you that from 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 living on Staten Island, when you when you leave and go down to southern New Jersey, you would take the outer bridge, track his car, whatever. But if he look at well, look at the cameras on the bridge when he if he stopped on the bridge, because you'll find them. That's where he did it. One observer has called it Mafia Pizzagate. I don't know if I like that one. All of that is going to become uh, much clearer once all the evidence is known and the truth comes out, his lawyer said. He declined to comment uh, whether the killing also had something to do with Callie's niece. In the meantime, a worry, uh, a worry that Camillo might be in danger of retaliation was reflected by presence. Okay, so there were, he was surrounded by armed, you know, armed uh, uh, correction officers. They're protecting him. He's going to probably be, they, the judge uh, uh, lobbied for uh, uh, protective custody. So he, he's in protective custody, but can he be, you know, it, the protective custody can work. I mean, look at David Berkowitz, the son of Sam, the 44 caliber killer, is still alive and still in Clinton Correctional Fils- Facility upstate New York. So can they keep a uh, a marked man alive? Eh, they they could, but this is this is rough, man. The mob is you know they're everywhere. You know you pissed off the wrong people. You know, but then again, Berkowitz also uh, shot a a shot the daughter Stacy Moskowitz shot the daughter of a mob uh, a made mob man. So and he's still alive. And there was like a fifty thousand dollar bounty on his head. He's thirty five forty years later. Watch the movie Summer of Sam. Um, Spike Lee did a great job telling the story. So there you have it, the the um, the QAnon killer. The QAnon Q. Q. Q told me to kill him. Q told me. Trump. It's Trump. Trump told me to kill him. Trump. Wow, man, this shit is getting deep now. It's getting deeper than we thought. Marcus Conti reporting on the QAnon killer. 